We are going to continue our live coverage now. Earlier in this newscast, we talked to a resident of an East Tennessee community that's just beginning the recovery process. We're actually going to talk now to the public information officer of that city, Myron Hughes, on what they're experiencing right now. Myron, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Myron, thank you for joining us. This is Grant Chigazola with WXXV News 25, and, and you're a member of the Irwin City Government, correct? No, I'm actually assisting the Irwin City Government with the Tennessee All Hazards Incident Management Team. Good to know. Um, Myron, just over the past uh, week so far, uh, what are conditions like in Irwin and the surrounding communities? Uh, there's a lot of devastation, destruction, uh, flood damage that we're seeing. The crews are out working diligently, trying to sift through the debris that's left and take care to see uh, what they can find and what conditions are there. So, Myron, you know, when it comes to, you know, some of the uh, damage to infrastructure in Irwin and, and those other areas, uh, it, it has to be extensive, is it? It is. We do have structural crews uh, out that are taking stock of buildings that are still standing and to see if they are sound uh, or not. Uh, and they are working diligently every day to make sure they're as thorough as possible to make sure we can get uh, communities a chance to get back and start to rebuild what needs to be rebuilt as soon as possible. Well, we appreciate uh, this perspective. Um, it, it certainly is important for our viewers to kind of get another on-the-ground perspective of how things are going on over there. Of course, we wish all of you the best of luck as you continue this recovery and rebuilding process. Our thoughts and prayers are with all of you right now.